Could you please introduce yourself and what company you're with? My name is, is uh, Jonathan Ferguson. I'm a tech artist at uh, Ubisoft Red Storm. Okay. When did you first realize that you were morphing into a technical artist from your original role? And what was your original role? My first role was an environment artist, creating a lot of high poly and low poly stuff. Uh, then also working in our uh, own engine tools. So we mainly worked with our internal tools, internal engine. Uh, so it was, you know, it was a bit of a change. Uh, however, I began to spend a lot of time optimizing things and helping artists uh, fit our art to the needs of the engine and the tools. Uh, and it just, I just sort of somewhat passively and somewhat actively transitioned from environment artist to tech artist. Okay. So can you provide a, a specific example from a project you worked on that required your, your skills as a TA to solve? Uh, yes. Currently I'm working on uh, Ghost Recon F Future Soldier. And uh, just while we had... Um, uh, just while I had some things in the works, I was able to prototype a, uh, well, pass, I can't, N there's oh. not much you're going to get out of that, what I can't say. Oh, okay. okay. That's okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, any, any projects in the past, things that wouldn't be, uh, okay. be difficult? Um, oh, okay, okay. Uh, sometimes, in, uh, and when you're going to deploy builds, uh, if there ever thing, if anything ever goes wrong with the builds, especially working with several studios, uh, if you're able to quickly provide tools that uh, uh, correct, correct and mend any tools deployment issues, uh, then that's helpful. Uh, being able to spot workflow speed bumps in people's uh, workflows and be able to opt optimize those through scripting and, and programming uh, is very needful. Okay. Now, did you come to being a TA from the art side or from the programming side? You said you were an environment artist yeah, first. Yeah, from the environment artist part, uh, and it was on, honestly it was the desire to, uh, I guess, be be able to understand more uh, and more and more what what actually goes on behind the scenes. You know, trying to find out what's behind the next door. Uh, so I enjoyed, uh, and I still enjoy that now. Uh, and it's mostly I get the most amount of. Uh, extra learning done in my own spare time, normally in the early morning hours because I'm a very early morning person. <laughs> so that actually segues in. So what kind of self-directed learning have you had to engage in to become an effective TA? Uh, well, in high school I studied a lot of uh, uh, just normal l languages. Uh, I had German and Spanish and also studied some, some Greek. So then I sort of switched from studying normal languages to, well, computer science and compu computer languages. Um, so it's more of a personal hobby that does benefit me at work as well. Just as I actually got into the industry as a modder who realized I could get paid for making games. Well, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. So it, it was the, the, the cool part of it is that I enjoy the tech part, the art part, and the programming part. And I like to see how they can all benefit each other, I guess. Okay. How about the, the levels of mathematics that you use? Like kind of on a day-to-day on -day basis, mm -hmm. what, what kinds of math... Do you have to uh, just go to? like uh, linear algebra? And the more you learn, the better. Uh, you can use a dot product to fake a nice re reflection. You can use cross product to uh, reduce the amount of memory used for normal, normal mapping. Uh, so it's just a lot of crazy math. Uh, same thing in MagScript. When you're working with a particle system to create uh, a form of procedural art, you can just go ahead and uh, <clears throat> learn how to find. Angles at cert, uh, faces at certain angles with dot products and a lot of other stuff. Uh, but basically, the more you know, the better. And once you think you know something, you're going to realize that you're just you're not even close to where you should be. So it's always a constant learning. Uh, and never consider yourself uh, done. You, I'm always a student. So. Uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. What was like the craziest math? You know, the most esoteric math you've ever had to teach yourself to get a project done. I guess just uh, working with shaders, look dev, trying to figure out with the uh, engine engine constraints or the platform constraints how to make our our assets or our skin or our cloth look as good as this game here or this game here, even though they had better hardware to uh, to implement. Okay. Um, how about like on the low level tech side? Like, what's like the low le lowest level you've had to go down into the technical concepts and, uh, and like? You know. to, in order to help me understand shaders better and HLSL and syntax, I went through a, through a few C books, went through a lot of uh, C tutorials. Uh, that's a rather low 
level language by today's standards. Also, there's a lot of free open course, coursework from Harvard and other places. Uh, they have, um, so you're able to basically, you know, uh, you know, I, I, I'm a, a father and a husband, so I, I, you know, I have to manage my time efficiently. So that's why in the mornings I normally just uh, maybe uh, I'll, I'll find a lecture from Harvard or MIT or some school, and then just sit there and just learn from it. So uh, that's that's really cool. I mean, that's, that's uh, so. I know there's probably like a ton of things that you could tell academics, but if there was only one thing you could tell us about, the, like being a TA, what we need to be on the lookout for, mm -hmm. um, and the way we, we uh, and what the role of a TA is, what would you tell us? What, what, do, what do we need to make sure we don't lose? Um, make sure you, you don't try to, uh, make sure you don't try to box people into older thinking, I guess, because when, when games were simpler, you had a different approach to art and programming. And now, as games grow in scale and uh, budget and so forth, you have to you, your art artist has to uh, mature, uh, just as the technology matures. So, so never try to stifle if an artist or a programmer wants to cross. Okay. Yeah. Anything else you want to say? Just uh, uh, to wrap this up. Uh, yeah. Uh, always. I guess my main point is always to be a student. Don't uh, <clears throat> don't ever just just call it done, I guess. <laughs> Jonathan, that was great. Thank cool. you very much. All right, thank you.